to clap your hands and make some joyful noise unto the King of Kings. I can feel you in the house. I want you to clap your hands and make some joyful noise unto the King of Kings. Hallelujah. Amen. On the behalf of our father, the Archbishop, and our mother, Mama Vivi, we, we welcome everybody to this breakthrough hour. I want to assure you, your life will never be the same. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want you to know we are live on Precious TV and all other social media platforms. Wherever you are watching us from, we want you to stay connected. God has a word for you this morning. Hallelujah. This morning there is a powerful lineup. To lead us to pray. The first person to lead us to pray is Reverend Michael Mensa. The second person is Pastor Emilia Yaro Kasambata. The, the third person is Reverend Patrick Sala. And then the fourth person is Reverend Shadrach Che. The fifth person is Reverend Ebenezer Omega. The last person is Reverend Elvis Dakwa. So without much I do, I want you to help me welcome Reverend Michael. May I do it better for him as he can. Do it better. Do it better unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Mommy, for the opportunity. This morning, be blessed before you live here in Jesus' name. The Bible says in the book of Psalm 136, verse 3 and 4. It says, oh, he said, oh, give thanks to the Lord of Lords. For his mercies endure us forever. To him who alone does great wonders. For his mercies endure us forever. This morning you want to thank God for the miracle you are about to encounter. You want to thank God for his goodness. You want to bless the name of the Lord for his kindness. Beloved, open your mouth and begin to thank God. Begin to glorify the name of the Lord. Begin to thank him for the miracles he's about to do for you. You want to thank him for the signs and wonders that you will see in your life this morning. You want to thank God for the life of our Archbishop and his family. You want to thank God. You want to glorify the name of the Lord. For God is good and his mercy is endurance forever. Here the Lord does great wonders in our lives. You want to thank Him for the great wonders He's about to do for you. You want to thank the Lord. You want to glorify Him. You want to magnify the name of the Lord. Once again, you want to give Him all the praise for His goodness, for His kindness, for His provision, for His protection, for His power, for His love, for His anointing. You want to thank the Lord. You want to glorify Him. You want to magnify Him. You want to the name of the Lord, for he is good, his mercy is endurance forever. He alone, this morning, he alone will do wonders, will do miracles in your life as you pray. He alone will touch your life and do a miracle. So you want to thank him for the miracle he's about to do. You want to thank him for the signs, for Hallelujah. Amen. Psalm 121, verse 5 and 7. The Bible said, 
The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. So on verse 7, the Lord shall preserve you from all evil. He shall preserve your soul. This year, may God preserve you from from all evil. Lift up one hand and say, Father, declare it like you mean. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, as I am praying now, I ask for your divine protection over my life, divine protection over my family. In the name of Jesus, say, Father, as I am praying now, I ask that you preserve me and my family from all evil. In the name of Jesus, say, Father, as I am praying now, deliver me from those who are planning to bring me down. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and talk to God. The Bible says uh, the Lord is our keeper. He is our shade at your right hand. Oh Lord, the Bible says uh, you will preserve us from all evil. These are the words we believe. We believe in your protection. We believe in your guidance. We believe in your direction. We believe in your deliverance. So this morning, oh God, we pray. We ask that God, you stretch forth your hand upon our lives. Luke chapter 13. Look and some party do me and sir. Verse 11 and 12. The chemo do back with do me. The Bible said, Just some say. And behold, there was a woman who had a spirit of infirmity. Now, here, or baby, or how I'm woman, I shall not so I'm a way now. For 18 years, every share do watch and was bent over and could in no way raise herself. Now, no more. But when Jesus saw her, he called her to him and said to her, Woman, you are loose from your infirmity. Any spirit binding your life. This morning you are loose in the name of Jesus. Lift up one hand and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, as I am praying now, I shake off every 
spirit of disappointment in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, as I am praying now, I shake off every spirit of delay. Say, Father, as I am praying now, I shake off every spirit of sickness that is tormenting my life in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, continue to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we shake up every spirit of disappointment. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice, whatever you are, and talk to God. Lift up your voice and talk to God. In the name of Jesus Christ, every spirit of disappointment, every spirit of failure, let it be shake up in the name of Jesus. Let it be destroyed by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let it be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Of Jesus. Yes, Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Mommy, for the Papa opportunity. Me me Psalm 140, Psalm 140, e verse 11. The psalmist said, Let not an evil speaker be established in the earth. Evil shall hunt the violent man to overthrow him. You want to say to the Lord, Lord, let not those who speak evil of me be established. Please, you want to lift up one hand and declare with me. Say, my father, my father, by your word, let no evil speakers tarnishing my image be established in Jesus' name. Say, my father, my father, my father, my father, by your word, let no the voice speaking mischief against me be established. In the name of Jesus, say, my father, my father, let no evil voice speaking against my business, speaking against my children, speaking against my home, speaking against my ministry, let no be established. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and talk to God. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice wherever you are. You want to talk to God. You want to say, oh, Lord, by your word. Let not the evil speakers of my life be established in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice. Wherever you are, you want to declare, you want to say, Oh Lord, let not they who speak evil of me, let not they be established. Lord, don't let them all be established. Lord, don't establish them. They are speaking evil. Against me, against my ministry, Lord, don't establish them by your word, Lord, don't establish them. Lift up your voice in the name of Jesus, in a man, in a woman, speaking evil against your business, against your life, against any good thing in your life. Let them not be established according to the word. Let them not be established. Lift up your voice. Wherever you are, you want to talk to God. You want to say, Abba, by your word, don't establish them. They that are speaking evil against my cause, against my marriage, against my business, against my ministry. Lord, don't establish them. Again, in the, in the book of Psalm 140, verse 8, the psalmist said, Grant not, O oh Lord, that the desire of the wicked, of the wicked further not his wicked device, lest they exalt themselves. Please declare with me. Say, my father, my father. Major, major. My father, my father. 
word, by your word, by your word, grant not the desire of the wicked against me. My father, my father, by your word, grant not the desire of the wicked against me. Say, my father, my father, the desire of the wicked to take away my daily bread. Lord, grant them not. In the name of Jesus, say, oh Lord, the desire of the enemy to scatter my business, to scatter my marriage, to scatter my ministry. Grant them not. Grant them not. Say, oh Lord, grant them not. Oh Lord, grant them not. Grant them not. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and fire the prayer right now. In the name of Jesus, wherever you are, don't be silent. Lift up your voice and say, Lord, by your word, grant them not the desire of the enemy to take away my daily bread, to take away my life, to take away my children, to cripple me. Lord, the desire of the enemy to cripple me. Lord, grant them not, grant them not. My God, my God, are you praying? My God, lift up your voice and talk to God. Say, oh Lord, my God, grant them not the desire to pull me down. Grant them not the desire to disgrace me. Grant them not the desire. Oh Lord, grant them not. Grant them not. My God, my God, are you praying? Wherever you are, talk to God. Say, Lord, grant not the desire of my enemies. Of Jesus. Yes, The book of Exodus, chapter 1, verse 7. The book of Exodus, chapter 1, verse 7. And the children of Israel were fruitful and increased abundantly and multiplied and worked exceeding mighty. And the land was filled with them. Oh, you want to declare with me? Say, my father, my father, increase me. Say, my father, my father, increase me beyond recognition. Make me great and strong. Say, my father, by your word, increase me abundantly and great and great and make me great. Let up your voice right now, my God. Wherever you are, you want to talk to God. You want to say, My Father, by your word, make me great. Increase me abundantly. Oh Lord, do unto me according to your word. Wherever you are watching us from, you want to talk to God. You want to talk to God. You want to say, Oh Lord, by your word, increase me. Increase me. Lord, make my name great. Lord, make me an institution. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. And say, Lord, by your word today, make me great. Make me large. Make me be beyond recognition. Oh, Lord, do unto me. Oh, Lord, make me great. Make me wide. Make my business great. Make my business great. Make my ministry great. Oh Lord, make me large. Oh Lord, make me great. Lift up your voice. 
us. Wherever you are, don't be silent. You want to roll and say, Lord, watch over your word and perform. Watch over your word and perform. Oh, Lord, make me great. Make my children great. Make my husband great. Make my wife great. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, lift up your voice. Say, Lord, make me great. Lord, by your word, 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 by your word. Oh, make me great. Make me great. Make my ministry great. Make my children great. Make my husband great. Make my husband great. Make my wife great. Lord, make me large. Make me great. Increase me. Abundantly. Beyond the God. Increase me. And make me great. Oh God. By your word. As I pray. Increase me. Oh God. As I pray. Increase me. In the name of Jesus. Oh as I pray, increase me and my family. Oh God, increase me as I pray in the name of Jesus. Continue to pray and say, Oh God, by the power of the Holy Ghost, as I pray, increase me and my family. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, increase me, increase me, increase. My ministry, increase me, oh God, in the name of Jesus, as I pray by your word, by your word, by your word, in the name of Jesus, as I pray, oh God, increase me, increase me in Jesus' name, amen. I want to appreciate my papa and my mama for this opportunity. Let's celebrate them, whatever they are, let's celebrate. Them. In Jesus' name, amen. Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 6. The Lord our God speak unto us in the Europe. Say the Lord our God in Europe. Saying, you have dwelt long enough in this mountain. Now, other verses say, the Lord our God said unto us, as God is telling you a nine. That you are staying for a long time at this mountain. I declare over your life that whatever has kept you at that place, you are coming out. I say you are coming out. Say this after me. Say, Father. Say, Father. In the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Any power holding me at one place in life, preventing me from moving forward. I come against it. Say, Father. Say, Father. In the name of Jesus, any power holding me at one place, preventing me from moving forward, I come against it. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come against the power of stagnation, the power of delay. I come out. I come out. I come out. I come out. Say, from today, I move forward. From today, I move forward. From today, I move forward. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare no more delay, no more stagnation in my life, in my business, in my ministry. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Come out from every power of stagnation and delay in life. Lift up your voice and begin to declare and say, Oh God, I come out from any power holding me, preventing me from moving forward by the power of the Holy Ghost. Oh God, I come out, I come out, I come out, I come out from every power 
holding me from moving forward. From today, I move forward. From today, I move forward. From today, I move forward. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come against the spirit of stagnation and delay in life, in business, in marriage, in ministry. Say, oh God, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I come against the spirit of stagnation, delay in marriage, delay in marriage, delay in every area of my life. Lift up your voice and begin to pray and say, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I come against the power of stagnation, preventing me from moving forward. In the name of Jesus, I move forward. 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 In the name of Jesus, oh God, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I break any power holding me, preventing me from moving in the name of Jesus, I am, I am moving forward. I am moving forward. I am moving forward. I am moving forward. In the name of Jesus, you are moving forward. Now, 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 you are moving forward. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Joshua chapter 1, verse 3. Joshua, every place that the sole of your feet shall tread upon that I have given unto you as I said unto Moses. Other verse said, every place on which you put your foot, I have given it unto you as I said unto Moses. I said from today you take dominion. Oh, I said from today you take dominion. Say in the name of Jesus, I declare that my feet are anointed. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, my feet are anointed. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, my feet are anointed. And from today, wherever I will tread, I take dominion. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I am taking dominion at my workplace. I'm taking dominion in my school. I'm taking dominion at my job. I'm taking dominion. In ministry, lift up your voice and begin to declare and say, Oh God, I am taking dominion. I'm taking dominion in that city. I'm taking dominion in that village. I am taking dominion in the name of Jesus in every area of my life. I'm taking dominion. I'm taking dominion in ministry. I'm taking dominion from today. Oh God, in my marketplace, I'm taking. Oh God, in my office, I'm taking dominion. I declare that oh God, from today, wherever that oh God, my feet shall tread, I am taking dominion. Oh God, I am taking dominion from today, wherever my feet shall tread. Oh God, I'm taking dominion in the name of Jesus. Oh God, by the power. I'm taking dominion in my office, in my school, in my business. Oh God, from today, wherever my feet shall tread, I'm taking dominion. Oh God, I declare that my feet are anointed. And in the name of Jesus, wherever, oh God, I will tread. I'm taking dominion in the name of Jesus. Somebody pray. Begin to take dominion. At that office, take dominion. In that office, take dominion. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray and say, Oh God, by the power of Holy Ghost, I'm taking dominion in ministry. I'm taking dominion in marriage. I'm taking dominion in my business. I'm taking dominion. That marketplace, I'm taking dominion. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and begin to. And say, oh God, I'm taking dominion. I'm taking dominion. I'm taking dominion. In the name of Jesus. In my office. In my market. Oh God, I'm taking dominion. Wherever 
my feet shall tread. I'm taking dominion by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Dominion in my city, dominion in my village. Oh God, I'm taking dominion by the power of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. You are taking. In the name of Jesus, lift your voice. We take dominion. We take charge right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. I take dominion. This morning, wherever your source of your fish are tried, you are possessing that place. Declare, I take over. I take dominion. I take charge. In the name of Jesus, I declare right now. I take dominion. The Bible said, wherever your source of your feet shall try, you are possessing that place right now, right now, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, you want to put your hand together for the Lord? You want to salute our Papa, the Archbishop, and also Mama? Oh, let's do it better for them. We are still praying. Zachariah chapter 3, verse 1. He said, and he showed me Joshua the high priest standing before the angel of the Lord. And Satan standing at his right hand to resist him. I want to pray that any form of resistance against you today, we overcome that thing in Jesus' name. Anything resisting your marriage, anything resisting your breakthrough, we overcome it by fire in Jesus' name. Literally say, Lord Jesus, say, I declare. Anything to resist me from going forward. Say anything aside to resist my marriage, to resist my breakthrough. As I pray, I overcome it right now by fire. Any form of resistance against my ministry. This morning, I break it right now. Let your voice and declare anything to resist you. The Bible, Bible said Joshua the high priest was standing before the Lord but Satan tried to resist him anything to resist your breakthrough this morning by the anointing upon our father we declare no more resistance no more resistance no more resistance anything to hinder you from moving forward this morning May the Lord arise. We overcome it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Lift your voice and declare that anything to resist your children from moving forward, anything to resist you this morning, we declare no more resistance, no more resistance by the fire of the Lord, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Right now, we declare any resistance for Paul said I long to come unto thee but Satan hindered me this morning anything standing between you and your breakthrough to prevent you this morning we overcome them by the power by the Holy Ghost right now right now we break in the form of resistance we come against every resistance against your breakthrough against your breakthrough right now in the pain aside in the north in the south in the east in the west we declare no more resistance no more resistance against you against your rising in the pain to resist you from rising to the top in the pain to resist your business to resist your marriage, to resist your children. This morning, we come against it. Right now, we terminate them. We destroy them by the power of the Holy Ghost. Right now, declare any resistance. Break it now. Break it now. 
You break it now. The Bible said Joshua, the high priest, was standing before the angel of the Lord and Satan at his right hand to resist him. This morning, any resistance, break now, break now, right now, any form of resistance, any thing to limit you, we come against it, we come against it, any thing to prevent us, this morning, break my fire, break it now, break it now, right now, right now, right now, we overcome it, right now, any form of resistance, any thing, standing between you and your blessing, any thing, preventing your breakthrough, this morning, we destroy it, this morning, we overcome it, right now, right now, by the fire of the law, in the form of resistance, break it now, break it now, right now, right now, right now, right now. in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, praise the Lord, first Kings chapter 18 verse 46, he said, and the hand of the Lord was on Elijah. And he gathered up his leons and ran before Ahab to the entrance of Jezreel. We want to pray that the hand of the Lord will come upon us. May the hand of the Lord lift you from where you are to another level. We are declaring that today because of the hand of God, because of the anointing, may our level change in Jesus' name. So, oh Lord, by the hand of God, I receive a change in my life. Say, oh Lord, let the anointing to overtake come upon me right now. Let the anointing to overtake fall upon my business, fall upon my life. Lift your voice and declare the anointing that came upon Elijah, the hand of God. Declare the hand of God that this morning may you experience the hand of God, the hand of the Lord right now. The Bible says when the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah, he has run ahead of Ahab. This morning, I see you running through your troops. I see you running. Lift your voice and declare the hand of the Lord. The hand of the Lord should come upon you. The hand of the Lord the hand of the Lord that changes things to fall on you, to rest upon your ministry, to come upon your children. May the hand of the Lord to run, the hand of the Lord to overtake. Let the hand of the Lord come upon you right now. From nowhere to become somebody, declare right now. May the hand of the Lord pick you from where you are to another place. May the hand of the Lord change your life. May the hand of the Lord change your business. May the hand of God come upon your ministry. Declare the hand of the Lord. The hand of the Lord. The Bible said he has run ahead of Ahab this morning by the anointing upon our Father. May the hand of the Lord, may the hand of the Lord that changes things come upon me. Come upon your life right now. Declare the hand of the Lord to pursue the hand of the Lord to run ahead of your peers. The hand of the Lord to do better. The hand of the Lord to excel. Declare the hand of the Lord. The hand of the Lord. The hand of the Lord that came upon Elijah. Let it come upon you. Let it rest upon us. This morning, may the hand of God come upon us. May the hand of the Lord rest on us. May the hand of the Lord come upon you. May the hand of God lift your ministry, lift your business. May the hand of the Lord change your life. May the hand of God, may the anointing come upon you right now. Right now. The hand of the Lord. Declare the hand of the Lord. It's coming on you. The hand of the Lord. The hand of the Lord. The hand of the Lord. That come upon 
Elijah, let it come on you. Let the hand of the Lord come upon you right now. Declare the hand of the Lord. The hand of the Lord. The hand of the Lord. To overtake your business, your life, your ministry. Let the hand of the Lord. 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 Emram is to Go ahead and talk to God that the hand of the Lord, the hand of God, the power of God, the hand of God, that which makes the difference, the hand of God, the power of God, that which makes the difference, will rest mightily upon you and change the story of your life. The hand of God, the power of God, will rest upon you and change your testimony. The hand of God, the power of God, will rest mightily upon you and change your destiny. The hand of God, the power of God, will come mightily upon you and change your portion. And continue praying. The oh hand of God rest upon me. Oh hand of God, come mightily upon me. Oh hand of God, rest upon me. Oh power of God, be very resident upon me. In the name of Jesus, somebody lifts your voice. Go ahead and continue praying. Pray that the hand of God. In Jesus' mighty name, uh, oh, put those two hands together unto the Lord. Oh, do it together, put it together. In Jesus' name, we want to also appreciate and acknowledge the presence of our Father. Oh, put your hands together, let's celebrate Him. Hallelujah. Amen. From the book of Joshua, chapter number 8, Joshua, and verse number 18. Joshua chapter 8 and verse number 18. Joshua, Reading from the Amplified. Then the Lord said to Joshua, and Joshua, stretch out the javelin that is in your hand towards I. For I will give it into your hand. So Joshua stretched out the javelin in his hand towards the city. And the verse number 26. Joshua drew not his hand back. Wherewith he stretched out the spear. Until he had utterly destroyed all the inhabitants of I. You want to pray this morning and say, Oh, spear of God of my Father. Oh, spear of God of my Father. Arise this morning and locate and pursue every plan of the enemy against my soul. Oh, spear of the God of my Father. Oh, spear of the God of my Father. Arise this morning. Locate and pursue every pursuer of my soul. In the name of Jesus, lift your voice this morning. Let your voice this morning that the spear of the God of our Father, the spear of the God of our Father, the spear of the God of our Father, will arise in your favor this morning, will arise on your behalf. The spear of the God of our Father shall arise on your behalf, shall arise on your behalf. Somebody lifts your voice that the spear of God. Will arise and locate 
God has determined for you. There is a level. God has determined for you. There is a placement. God has put together for you. There is a breakthrough that is meant for you. You want to pray this morning that, oh, my Father, the spear of my Father, arise, locate, and pursue in the power that is pursuing me out of my place, out of my blessing, out of my breakthrough. In the name of Jesus, somebody go ahead. Go ahead. Joshua did not withdraw his hand. He pushed out. Therefore, somebody pray this morning. Push out prayer this morning. Pray this morning that the spear of God, the spear of God, of our Father, is arising this morning. Is rising this morning. Is rising this morning. In your favor, open your mouth. Talk to God. Somebody pray. Open your mouth. There is a spear at work this morning on your behalf. There is a spear of God of our Father at work this morning in your favor. There is the spear of the God of our Father that is in oppression. Open your mouth. Talk to God. That this spear of the God of our Father will arise, will locate, and pursue every pursuer of your destiny, every pursuer of your breakthrough, every pursuer of your business, every pursuer of your marriage, every pursuer of your children. Somebody lift your voice. Talk to God. Talk to God. Talk to God. Open your mouth. Somebody pray. Somebody go ahead. And the power that wants to displace you out of your place. And the power that wants to displace you at the place of your breakthrough. And the power. And the power. And the power. power. Lift your voice. That all spear of God, of my Father, arise. 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 arise, arise. Somebody will go. Your voice, lift your voice, talk to God, lift your voice, talk to God, lift your voice, talk to God, talk to God, talk to God. Somebody go ahead, pray, 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 the spirit of the God of our Father. This very moment is arising in your favor, it's arising on your behalf. Work. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. There is a place of breakthrough that the enemy wants to take you out of that place. Ah, talk to God this morning. That, oh, my father. Oh, the axe of my father. Arise this morning against any power, against any enemy that wants to displace me from the place of breakthrough. Oh, spear of the God of my Father, arise on my behalf, arise on my behalf, arise on my behalf, in the name of Jesus, go ahead and pray, 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 against any power that wants to displace you, pray that this spear will pursue 
will locate every enemy that is against you in the name of Jesus. Somebody go ahead. Go ahead. Talk to God. 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 This fear is at work. This fear is working. This fear is working. It's working in your favor. It's working on your behalf. Therefore, don't hold back. Don't hold back. Don't withdraw. Don't hold back. Don't draw back. Push a prayer this morning. Lift your voice. Lift your voice. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and keep praying. Go ahead. Keep praying. Go ahead. Keep praying. Lift your voice. Lift your voice. Talk to God. Talk to God. Let the spirit of the God of our Father who arise on your favor, on your behalf, and at work. Go ahead. Talk to God. Talk to God. Somebody want to continue to pray. Lift up your voice and cry aloud. May the spirit of your Father locate every enemy after your life, after your children. Can you lift up your voice in less than three minutes? Can you lift up your voice and shout, Lord? You want to shout, Lord? By this altar, may the spirit of my Father locate every enemy after my soul, after my destiny, after my finances, after my spouse. Lift up your voice in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice in prayer we travel. Lift up your voice. Can I hear two people lifting up their voices before the I am that I am and shout Lord, say Lord, say Lord from the The javelin of God uh, to locate uh, every enemy after my life, uh, after my life. Uh, lift up your voice uh, by your prayer. May every enemy after your life uh, be scattered uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, can you lift up your voice? Uh, lift up your voice. Uh, lift up your voice. Uh, lift up your voice. Uh, Church, you are doing well, uh, but you want to lift up your voice uh, and take your prayer to another dimension. Uh, say, Lord, tonight, uh, say, Lord, this morning, uh, by the altar of my Father, I declare that may the arrows of God uh, locate uh, anybody after my children, uh, after my business, uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, can you lift up your voice uh, in Jesus? Name. Oh, I said in Jesus' name. You want to clap your hands. Clap is another form of prayer. Can you clap your hands? And if your voice is yours, can you lift up your voice? And you want to shout a shout of victory. Lift up your voice and give God a shout. We want to continue to pray. And we are praying from the book of Genesis 30. Verse 22. The Bible says, And God remembered Rahel or Rachel. And the Bible says he hearkened to her and open her womb. Tonight, this morning, may God remember every prayer you have uttered before him in the name of Jesus. Oh, I hear only two people responding. I said, I prophesy over your life. Every request you have put before God, may the book of remembrance be opened for you in the name of Jesus. You want to lift up one hand with me if it is possible. And you want to say after me, shout my father, my father. Major, major. Uh, I can't hear you. Shout my father, my father. Major, major, major. Say, oh Lord, Ewa, say this morning on the altar Ewa, of my, my father, Ewa, major, I cry aloud, Lord, remember me. Ewa, Shall Lord, remember me. Ewa, Shall Lord, remember me. Ewa, Shall Lord, Ewa, this morning Ewa, as I pray, Take it to my voice uh, and open uh, the heavens uh, over my life. Uh, can you lift up your
your voice. Uh, can you lift up your voice uh, and cry aloud? Uh, may God remember you. Uh, may God remember your business. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, lift up your voice. Uh, lift up your voice. Uh, lift up your voice. Uh, as God remembered Rachel, uh, may God remember you. Uh, lift up your voice. Uh, lift up your voice. Uh, Lord, remember my ministry. Lord, remember my project. Uh, Lord, remember my wife. Uh, Lord, remember my children. Uh, oh, Lord, uh, remember Perez Chapel. Lord, remember the members uh, of Perez Chapel. Lift up your voice. Uh, lift up your voice. Uh, cry aloud. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, lift up your voice. Uh, is somebody praying? Uh, is somebody praying? Uh, my God, uh, lift up your voice. Uh, lift up your voice. Uh, lift up your voice. Uh, somebody pray this morning. Uh, lift up your voice. Uh, lift up your voice. Uh, Lord, remember me. Lord, remember me. And turn situations uh, around uh, for my good. Uh, lift up your voice. Uh, lift up, oh God. Uh, lift up your voice. Uh, somebody talk to God. Uh, lift up your voice. Uh, on the altar of prayer. Oh Lord, uh, remember me. Lift up your voice. Uh, may God remember you. Uh, concerning your marriage. Uh, may God remember you. Uh, my God. Uh, lift up your voice. Uh, if your ministry is going this morning, uh, may God remember your ministry and turn uh, your ministry around. Uh, lift up your voice. Uh, it's our year of the power of God. Uh, lift up your voice. Uh, lift up your voice. Uh, and show Lord, uh, this morning, uh, as I pray, remember me. Lord, uh, remember my prayer. Lord, remember my prayer. Lift up your voice. Uh, lift up your voice. Uh, lift up your Cry aloud. If you are sick this morning, may God remember you. Lift up your voice. Talk to God. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Up your voice. On the altar of prayer, I pray, oh Lord, that you remember me. Lord, men are saying there is no help for me, but thou, oh Lord, who remember me and turn my situation around. Lift up your voice, lift up your voice, lift up your voice, lift up your voice. Up your voice. My God, remember me and change the status quo for me. Lift up your voice, somebody talk to God. Lift up your voice, lift up your voice. Up your voice. My God, my God, my God, oh God, lift up your voice, lift up your voice. Up your voice. May God remember you, lift up your voice. Uh, lift up your voice. Uh, my business. Uh, may God remember me. Lift up your voice. Uh, somebody talk to God. Uh, lift up your voice. Uh, is somebody praying? 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 Uh, in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, I said in Jesus' name. I was yes to the name. In the same chapter. Verse 23, the Bible says, and Rachel bore a son, and she said, God has taken away my reproach. This morning, and a reproach over your life. I said the Lord will hear you, and the reproach will be taken away. Can you lift up one hand? And if it is possible, and you are not tired, this is the last lap. Can you jump to your feet and declare after me, my father, my father. Ah, that is weak. Shout, my father, my father. Say this morning, May every reproach be lifted by my prayer, by your remembrance. So, oh Lord, oh Lord, I said, pray, let every reproach be lifted. Lift up your voice, lift up your voice, lift up your voice, lift up your voice. I prophesy against every reproach in my life. Let every Reproach uh, be lifted uh, by the power of God. Uh, lift up your voice, 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 uh, lift up your voice. Uh, somebody talk to God. Uh, that breakthrough uh, is coming. 
Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. In Jesus' mighty name. This morning, we want to do a prophetic act. Less than two seconds. The psalmist said, clap your hands, all ye people. As you clap, may God remember you. And if your voice is yours, we want to lift up our voice. And we want to give God a shout of victory. Lift up your voice and give God a shout. Ay, 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 ay. Give the Lord a mighty club offering. Give it to Jesus. You can do it better than that. Oh, give the Lord a better club offering. Will you please take your seat in the presence of the Lord? Amen. Amen. Before I share with you, I want to acknowledge the presence of Reverend Peter Sabri. Can you please stand? Let's acknowledge your presence. Amen. He's one of the great men from Paris. He's, he's pioneered a great job in Paris under the Christian Hope Ministries. Oh yeah, Paris, uh, Christian Home Ministries, I say. As a powerful deliverance ministry. Appreciate him one more time. <laughs> the welcome. Amen. 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 I started a series on miracles. And we started defining what we, we looked at Acts chapter 2, verse 23, uh, 22, sorry. And we saw three words that the Bible used. That Jesus was approved by miracles. And wonders and signs. And last week we started looking at what a miracle is. And we said a miracle is power to me. Or God's inherent ability. And we said a miracle is seeable, it's noticeable, it's demonstrative. And there's a hindering testified in Acts chapter 4 that. And as so for opinion, you for no so, a deal who are dancing here, I was my form, my 89. That indeed a notable miracle miracle has been done in Jerusalem, we cannot dispute. And in Acts chapter 14, we saw how the Bible said after the crippled man at Lystra had been healed, they said that gods have come to us in human form. And and we also looked at the resurrection of Jesus Christ and how Paul said in Acts 26, 26 that it was not done in a corner. We saw how God did special miracles through the hands of Paul. So speaking of miracles, when you go into scripture, miracles are also referred to as the works of God. They are referred to as the works of God. In John chapter 6, Jesus took five loaves and two pieces of fish and it multiplied and fed over 5,000 men. Then 
the number of the women and the children was not given. So probably there were 8,000 people 10,000 people or more. After that miracle was done, in John chapter 6, verse 28, the people came to Jesus. And when they came to him, they said, Lord, what shall we do? that we might work in the works of God. The miracle of multiplication, they saw it as the works of God. A miracle is the works of God. In John chapter 5, verse 36, Jesus said, yes, you can say. but I have greater witness than that of John. For the works which the Father has given me to finish, the same works that I do, bear witness of me that the Father has sent me. Jesus at one point said that John the Baptist didn't do any miracle. But the people believed in him. And Jesus is saying here that if you are talking about testimony, he had a better testimony, a greater witness than that of John. And those were the works which the Father had given him. The works of God are miracles. Or miracles are the works of God. One time Jesus walked on the sea. After walking on the sea, when he, you know, he came to the people and he was teaching. The people said, no, he has a demon. In John chapter 7, can you give me verse 20? The people answered and said, you have a demon. And you are saying we want to kill you. Verse 21. Jesus answered and said to them, I've done one work. And you are marveling. Amen. 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 I've done one work. The works of God. And you are marveling. Amen. Amen. So miracles are the works of God. Miracles are also referred to in the Bible as great things. Great things. And this year, God will do great things for you. Your amen needs a top up. This year, God will do great things for you. In Luke chapter 1, and verse 49, after Mary, who was a virgin, was told she will have a child. And truly, she will be pregnant by the power of the Holy Ghost. She sang a song of praise. And in her song of praise, she said, For he that is mighty has done great things to me. Or has done to me great things. And holy is his name. Because a, a virgin getting pregnant is impossible. Without artificial insemination, without sex, 
It's impossible. But that is what happened to Mary. And Mary said, indeed you've done to me great things. This year, the impossible will be made possible in your life. This year, what people are saying cannot be done is what will be done in your life. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. He will do great things for you. Amen. Amen. He will do great things for okay, you. Tell somebody sitting by you, he will do great things for you. Tell another person, I don't know about you. But, but before the end of the year, you can testify that God has done great things for your life. Amen. Amen. He will surprise you great things, in, incredible things. In Luke chapter 13, Jesus goes into the synagogue and a woman with the curvature of the spine she was bowed together and the Bible says she could in no wise lift up herself. Her bone her spine was twisted. She couldn't even lift up herself. And Jesus calls her to him and tells her, woman, you are loose from your infirmity. And the Bible says in the verse 13, he laid hands on her and immediately she was made straight. Immediately she was made straight. Whatever must be straightened in your life this year. It will be straightened in the name of Jesus. Whatever must be put right. Will be put right. If you knew the woman before she went to the synagogue. And you saw her after the synagogue. You'll be wondering, is it the same person? She went into the synagogue like this. And came out. That will be your story. The people that know you, they will see you, and the next minute, something has changed. Give them praise. Give them thanks. Give them praise. Now, that is a great, that is the mighty work of God. If you knew Joseph, one minute, he was a prisoner. The next minute, he was a prime minister. If you were, if you were his friend, you went, you went to bed with him or you all went to sleep in the night. You wake up the following morning. When you went to sleep, he was a sofa man. He wakes up the following morning and his destiny has changed. That will be your story. God will change your story. He will make sure that the people who write your story they will be amazed. Give him praise. Give him praise. And so when this woman was straightened up, the rulers of the Jews and some people began to mama and complain. Uh, why did you not uh, uh, come? And you are coming on the Sabbath day. Because they had gotten to a, a time that, the, the, you know, the Jews, their interpretation of the Sabbath had become. Mm-hmm. And for them, the Sabbath, they said it shouldn't work. And some of them counted work as. You know, 
uh, you be healed and all those things they counted it as work now i mean a woman who couldn't straighten herself. If suddenly she can straighten herself, is it not cause for rejoicing? Instead of rejoicing, they began to criticize. Uh, you should uh, have come the previous day. That is what is going to happen in your life. Your miracle will be such that people, people be arguing. Uh, this one cry is not correct. Uh, it shouldn't have happened. But it will happen. Give him praise. Give him thanks. Give him praise. So Jesus answered them in Luke chapter 13 verse 16. He says, and ought not this woman be a daughter of Abraham? Whom Satan has bound low these 18 years. Shouldn't she be loose from this bond on the Sabbath day? And I like the verse 17. The Bible says, and they were all abased. And they glorified God. And were filled with fear. Oh, so, so, sorry, sorry. He says, and when he has said these things, sorry, he says, all his adversaries were ashamed. And all the people rejoiced for all the glorious things that were done by him. What had happened, they called it a glorious thing. May you experience glorious things this year. This month of April, may you experience glorious things. May you have so many glorious things happen to you that people can rejoice with you and that your enemies will be ashamed. It says all his adversaries were ashamed and all the people rejoiced for the glorious things that were done by him. Give him praise. Give him thanks. Give him praise. Hallelujah. Amen. In Luke chapter 5, well, look, and verse 26, Jesus did the miracle. Yes, And after doing the miracle, the people said, mm -hmm. they, the people, you know, they, they brought this man who was a paralytic. Was a paralytic. And Jesus was teaching. And they carried in this man. And when they came, there was no space to bring him in. And Jesus was still teaching. And the four people who carry the man. They said, Charlie, I say, hey. this is our friend must get a miracle. And I am sure the friend also was talking to them. So they were asking, how do we get this man to Jesus? And I'm sure the man was telling them, whatever you will do. Do it for me, oh. because as for me, I need a miracle. And the Bible says the friends decided to climb the roof. And to and to rip the roof. You see, in Mark's rendition, Mark says that. When Jesus saw their faith, Bible said, 
And many people think that it was just the faith of the four friends. Not only the faith of the four friends. Because if you are paralyzed and people say they are going to climb a roof and take you up there, and drop you. Your first reaction will be, what about if you are climbing and I fall? Your second reaction will be, if you even open the roof and you are dropping me, what about if it is my waist that comes to hit the ground first? So it was not just the faith of the four friends. The sick man also had enough faith to allow them to do their incredible in his life. So they tore the rooftop and dropped him before Jesus. When they dropped the man before Jesus, the first thing Jesus says, a son, your sins are forgiven. Hey, Obama, hey. And they just say, ah, only God can forgive sins. Thank God Jesus is God. Amen. Amen. It is true. Only God can forgive sins. And Jesus said, your sins are forgiven. Whatever sin that has that, that is wrecking your life. The blood will cover it. Today. If you don't know Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, the blood speaks. The blood still works. Give him praise. Give him thanks. Give him praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Then the people began to argue. Look at him. It is only God who forgives. How can you say the man is forgiven? And Jesus said to them, to make it very simple, forgiveness of sin and healing of the sick, which is more difficult. For the Jews, they thought that healing of the sick was more difficult. But the reality is the forgiveness of sin is more difficult. Because how do you change a man's life? A man who was a murderer like Paul. One day suddenly his life is transformed. He ceases to be a murderer and he becomes a preacher. That is a very difficult one. A drunkard. Suddenly, the drunkenness, the spirit of drunk. The man gets drunk and sleeps in a gutter. A prostitute. And then suddenly, that prostitute is transformed. Ah, it takes the power of God. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. So Jesus, to make them understand that in the sight of God, forgiveness of sin goes with healing of the sick. They go together. Mike, this time, they me, I don't hear myself cry out. Mike, is it my 80 decibels that is made it like that? Oh, but i making their voice come small. Uh, the, no, I think the new speakers are giving the problem. The old one, when you give me 80 decibels, I could hear myself. Amen. Amen. Put your hands together for Dickin Mike. Yeah, more than some Dickin Mike. Because in Psalm 103, the Bible says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not its benefits. Who forgives all your iniquities? And who heals all your diseases. So God does not only forgive us. He heals our diseases. 
In First Peter chapter two verse twenty-four, the Bible says Jesus went to the cross, and who by himself bore our sin upon himself, that we should be dead to the sin and live unto righteousness. By whose stripes you were healed. So in the place where he took our sin and to be out fire burning is the place where he healed our sickness. So in the sight of God, forgiveness of sin and healing of the sick, they go together. So Jesus heals this man and the Jews get mad. And in Luke chapter 5, verse 26, says they were all amazed and they glorified God and were filled with fear saying we have seen strange things today because of you may people see strange things amen amen because of you May they see strange things. May they see things that only God can do. Hallelujah. Amen. Miracles are strange things. They are the strange things of God. And this year, may he continually do strange things in your life. Oh, you didn't hear me. I want to make a... I said this year, may he continually do strange things in your life. So that you will be able to glorify God. Says they were all amazed. And they glorified God. And were filled with fears. We have seen strange things today. When God does notable miracles in your life. In your community. When he does things for you. That only God can do. What it does is that it makes your, the people say that. This thing, it, it's amazing. It's unbelievable. You are an average student. You are an average student. You every time here you are getting D or C. And suddenly you go to write an exam. And you get A plus. Now when excellent A plus, I just say, oh, what bombarding? All the people who know you don't get a bad including your teachers. That will be your story this year. That will be your story. Every year in your business. Oh, you are dim. Fifty thousand. Uh hundred thousand. And suddenly this year, you are making one million. That will be your story. You used to do 10 million. And suddenly this year, you are doing 50 million. Oh, your church. You used to have 50 people. Suddenly, before people who open their eyes, you have 250 people. And Sunday, you people when you are new at your new number. You used to have 200 people. Now, Kawunya, Nipa had no. Now, you are sitting 500. There's no space. A Nipa no, I had no more. Wouldn't it be a big man, Nipa? Strange things. And you're my you. Strange things. And you're my you. Strange things. And you're my you. Suddenly, contracts. A Murumua, no, in your new man. Coming from everywhere. A free baby, a bad. The contracts are chasing you. Yeah, a new man, not a tire. The people, the people, they used to know you. Not can profound in you. Used to beg to get the contract. Now the contracts are chasing contract you. That will be your story. That will be your story. Give him praise. Give him thanks. Give him praise. That will be your story. You 
will be married. You know, the other day, I was, re- I was reading after this Ugandan woman. 70 years. She got pregnant. And when you say yeah. Se- 70 wow. years. When you finish your son. Hey. You yeah, when you google it you you get it. I say we call seven be for ten ten fit you so kwa kwa obehu. If you finish your son. She got pregnant. And when you say yeah. 70. Finish your son. Now girl. That is an amazing thing. Where the idea a yeah who may that be your story. Ah when you want them that amazing things will happen in your life. Things that will fill people with fear. Things that will make the people say, hey, as for, the, as for this man, as for this woman, the things that happen in their life or his life, they are strange things. Oh, as for as for that lady, I don't know the kind of God she alone she's serving. Him. Your God is not dead. Your God is alive. Give him praise. Give him thanks. Give him praise. This year, may, may, he cha- may he change your story. Ah, once a son, who has him? The story of your children. A young woman who has him. The story of your grandchildren. A young woman, animal who has him. May he do strange things for them. Strange, strange. A young woman, you who are a brother. Give him praise. Fire your man. Give him praise. Fire your man. Give him praise. Fire your man. Hallelujah. Amen. In Matthew chapter 21. Matthew chapter 21. Verse 15. Matthew 21, 15. Jesus went into the temple and he cleansed the temple. And after cleansing the temple. The Bible says, Bible can say, when the chief priests and scribes saw the wonderful things that he did, when they saw the wonderful things that he did, wonderful things, miracles are wonderful things. Wonderful things. Amen. Amen. Miracles are also what the Bible calls marvelous things. When David was describing what God did in Egypt, how he did great things, how he, he changed the water into blood and brought frogs on the land and brought lice on the land and the hail and in Psalm 78 and verse 12 he said marvelous things did he in the sight of their fathers in the land of Egypt in the field of Zoan in the field of Zoan. I was Zoan as I say so. Wonderful things. Marvelous things. He did in their sight. I mean, finally, he even opened the Red Sea. At a certain point, he even made the firstborns of Egypt die. And a miracle of judgment. And David was saying those things were marvelous things. This year. Your enemies will be judged. The people that wish you evil, God will bring divine judgment on them. Amen. Amen. 
the people who have schemed and planned against you. God will bring divine judgment. Marvelous things he did in their sight. Those who have dug a pit for you to fall in, they will fall into their own pit. Those conspiring against you, they will fall into their own pit. Give them praise. Give them praise. He will do that for you. He will do the incredible for you. Ma- marvelous things. He will do marvelous things. Say marvelous things. marvelous things. Amen. Amen. He did it for them. In Egypt. If God has done it before, He will do it again. If God has done it for anybody, the Bible says in the book of Malachi, it says the Lord our God, he does not change. James chapter 1, verse 16, he says every good, James 1, 16, it says every good and perfect gift comes from above and comes from the Father of lights in whom is no variableness nor shadow of turning. There is no variableness. It doesn't vary. No shadow of turning. Give him praise. Give him thanks. He doesn't change. And on your watch, it's not going to change. And I won't so off your own, sister. God has never failed anybody yet. And he's never going to start with you. Amen. Amen. Years ago, I was going to preach. When God spoke to my spirit, that statement, that he has never failed anybody yet. And he's not going to start with you. Then he assured me that when the devil does his worst, he, God, will do his best for you. May he do his best for you. In Jesus' name, give him praise. Give him thanks. Give him praise. So marvelous things he did in the, in the sight of their fathers. So miracles are marvelous. In Psalm 105, verse 5, he says, Remember his marvelous works that he has done, his wonders, and the judgments of his mouth. Remember his marvelous works that he has done. It is good to remember all the marvelous things God has done. And this year, God will give you cause to remember. He will give you cause to remember. Amen. Amen. Because... He wants to be celebrated. The psalmist said, let all the people praise your name. If all the people are going to praise his name, then they must see his marvelous works. And this year, through your life, people will see the marvelous works of God. Amen. Amen. God says in Isaiah 29, verse 14. He says, Therefore, behold, I will proceed to do a marvelous work among the people. Even a marvelous work and a wonder. For the wisdom of their wise men shall perish. And the understanding of the prudent men shall be hid. What it means is that God, God will do it in such a way 
normally there are there are ways by which we calculate things to be done for instance when you have to climb these stairs everybody knows you have to start from the lower step you want to go up you take this step. Take this one. Take this one. Take this one. Take this one. That is normal progress. Amen. Amen. But God is going to make it such a way that for some of you, you start from the ground. You jump to this fourth place. He says, I will do a marvelous work. I'll proceed to do a marvelous work. So that the wisdom of the wise cannot understand or they will be put to shame. Amen. Amen. He says, the understanding of the prudent will be hid. He will do it because when they want to calculate and analyze how it happened, they will have no clue. It doesn't make sense. What God has done for you doesn't make sense. And this year, that will be your testimony. What God will do for you will not make sense. Hey. Uh, this is our year of God's power. What God will do for you. Last Sunday, one of our members showed a testimony. He works with Ghana Gas, so, you know, they have part of their thing in the Western region. And he was the leader of the team. He went to the team. They were 21. And they went by an army helicopter. And they went to the sea. And when they were coming back, a storm. And suddenly, they were crashing into the sea. Then he started calling on the name of the Lord. Normally, when a helicopter is crashing in the sea, it go. That out of nowhere, they realized that they had come up again. And then they came to the land. I mean, it, it put pictures of it. I don't know whether the, 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 the video, video the TV people or the screenwriters, they have still have the pictures. Then they went and what? crashed on land. And when they... And normally when a helicopter crashes, because of the aviation fuel, highly inflammable, it catches fire. When they crash, the village close by where they crashed, the people thought that everybody was dead. And then the aviation fuel began to pour and there were sparks. But it did not catch fire. And none of them died. None of them died. Hey. Amen. That was it. Hey. Hey. None of them died. None of them. None of them. None of them. None of them died. And that will be God's testimony in your life. He will do that for you. Give him praise. Give him thanks. And I'll say money. That is what God will do for you. He will do what only he can do. To take the glory. In marvelous works. Lift your hands and just love him. We are going to worship the Lord. Just lift your hands and let just love him. Yes. And sorry, Let all thy people praise thy name. 
Let all your people praise the name. Let all yes. thy people praise thy name forever and evermore. Let all, Let all thy people praise thy name. Yeah. Let all oh, thy people praise thy name. Just love him, love him. Let all thy people praise thy name forever and evermore. Let all thy people praise thy name. Yes, 
Pray. Mike, make, make the voice richer for me. It's not rich, it's so dry. We are going to pray. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, this year, do great things in my life. Do great things that will bring glory to you. Open your mouth. Talk to God. Talk to Him now. Talk to Him. Great things, Lord. By the power of the Holy Ghost, let me be able to say, the Lord has done great things for me. Talk to Him now. Talk to the Lord. Talk to him. Talk to him. Talk to the Lord. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Talk to him. Yes, great things. Great things. Great things. Great things. Do great things in my life. 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 Jesus, do great things so that everybody can know that you are who are mighty. You have done great things. By the power of the Holy Spirit, great things, Lord. 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 Great things, Lord.
According to Luke 13, 17, you made all their adversaries ashamed. And all the people rejoiced because of the glorious things you did for your daughter. Lord, Lord, do glorious things in my life that will make all who know me rejoice and that will shame my adversaries in the name of Jesus open your mouth talk to God talk to him talk to him Lord glorious things shame my enemies shame my adversaries Share my opposers. Let all the people around me rejoice. Let all the people who know me rejoice in the name of Jesus. Let them rejoice. Let them rejoice. Let the people that know me rejoice. Let the people that know my story rejoice. Let the people that see me rejoice. Because of the glorious things you will do in my life. Because of the glorious things you will do in my ministry. Do glorious things for me. Glorious things for me. Do glorious things for me. In the name of Jesus. Do glorious things for me. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Do glorious things for me. Lord, put my enemies to shame. Put my enemies to shame. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Put my enemies to shame. In the name of Jesus. Let the people rejoice around me. Let the people rejoice, oh God. Let the people rejoice. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Talk to God now. Talk to him in the name of Jesus. Talk to the Lord now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Talk to him now. In the name of Jesus. Talk to the Lord now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Talk to him. Talk to him now. In the name of Jesus. Talk to the Lord. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Of the Holy Ghost. Talk to him now. In the name of Jesus. Say, Father, in Jesus' name, according to Luke chapter 5, verse 26, they were all amazed. They glorified God. They were filled with fear because they saw strange things. Lord, let all who know me be amazed because of the strange things you will do in my life so that they can glorify God and be filled with holy fear in the name of Jesus open your mouth talk to God talk to God talk to God yes talk to God let them be amazed let them be amazed let them be amazed so that they can glorify you. Ah, do strange things in my life. Strange things in my husband. Strange things in my friends. Strange things in my ministry. Strange things. Strange things. Strange things. Strange things. Strange things. Talk to God. Strange things. Strange things. Talk to God. Strange things. 
by the power of the Holy Ghost. Strange things. And you my who I ready. Strange things. And you my who you my Strange things. And you my who I ready. Talk to God. Cause I truly am strange things. And you my who by the power of the Holy Ghost. That all will be amazed. Strange things. And you my strange things. And you my who talk to God. Cause I truly am talk to Him. Cause I truly talk to God. Cause I truly am strange things. And you my who you my who. Strange things. And you're my you. Strange things. He has done greater things. He will do unto the Lord. Be the glory. Matthew 21, 15. Said when the chief priests and the scribes saw the wonderful things which he did. Psalm 78, verse 12. It says marvelous things did he in the sight of their fathers. Lift up one hand. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, do wonderful things in my life. Marvelous things. And marvelous works. That I will remember in my life. In Jesus' name. Open your mouth. Talk to God. Talk to him now. Talk to him now. Talk to God. Talk to him now. Talk to him now. Yes, talk to God. Talk to the Lord. By the power of God. Talk to him now. Yes, talk to him. Talk to him. Talk to God. Marvelous and you may Marvelous and you may have one one in the name of our yes to demo or in the name of our yes to demo. Stop on the other. Yeah, me owns and Jenny. I see me.
Father, we ask that this oil be sanctified and meet for the use of your people. Let it break every yoke. The word says, if there is any sick amongst us, he should ask for the elders of the church let them anoint them with the oil and pray the prayer of faith and if they are sick they will be healed and if they have sinned their sins will be forgiven we are going to have an anointing service I'm going to ask the pastors to bring the oil around. And you dip your finger in the oil and anoint yourself. So pastors, You lift up one hand. Lay the other hand where you are hurting. If you came with somebody sick, lay one hand on the person. The anointing destroys the yoke. Heavenly Father, we celebrate you. We bless you, Lord. We magnify you. Thank you for your miracle working power. You are the miracle working God. Right now, oh God. I ask that you will do great things in the lives of your people. Let the miracle of healing you do for them be great. Lord. Do glorious things for them. Strange. 
strange manifestations of your healing. That everybody can say, ah, this is the wonderful works of God. And so right now I bind every spirit of eye and I command it to come out. Every spirit of ear problem. I command it to come out. Every spirit of paralysis. I command it to come out. Every spirit of stroke. I command it to come out. Every foul spirit of autism be bound in the name of Jesus and come out. Every spirit of weakness and pain, I command you to be bound. Every spirit of kidney problem be bound in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of liver problem be bound in Jesus' name. Come out. Every spirit of lung problem be bound in Jesus' name. Come out. Every spirit of cancer be bound in the name of Jesus. And come out right now. Every spirit of every spirit of prostrate cancer prostrate enlargement be bound on Jesus name come out every foul spirit of autism and down syndrome be bound in the name of Jesus come out every spirit of mental problem and depression be bound in the name of Jesus come out every spirit of emotional distress be bound in the name of Jesus come out by the power of the Holy Spirit and right now, I command healing into your body. I ask that deaf ears will open. I ask that blind eyes will see. Paralyzed limbs will be healed. Stiff joints will be loosened right now. Skin diseases will disappear. Growths will disappear. In the name of Jesus, I ask that from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, you'll be made every way to In the name of Jesus, be healed right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Lift up your hand and thank the Lord for your healing right now. Thank him 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 for your healing right now. Bless the name of the Lord. If you couldn't lift your hand, lift it. If you couldn't lift your leg, lift it. If you couldn't turn your neck, turn it. If you couldn't bend down, bend down. If you couldn't bend down, bend down. You will see that you have been healed. Celebrate the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless him. Yes. Bless him. Bless him. Bless him. Bless him. Bless him. Bless him. Hallelujah. Amen. Bless the Lord. Bless him now. Bless him now. Bless him now. Bless him now. Will you please take your seat and bow down your head with me? Bow down your head with me. If you are here this morning and you want your sins forgiven, I want to pray with you. Lift up one hand. I'm going to pray with you. Yes, you want your sins forgiven. Thank you. Lift up one hand. If your hand is lifted, please stand. If your hand is lifted, please stand. You have a bad habit. You also want to be set free from every bad habit. Please stand. I'm going to pray with you. You want to be free from every bad habit. Please stand. I'm going to pray with you. Some of you, your habit is betting. Your habit, your bad habit is betting. You are addicted to betting. 
and you want to be set free. Hey, now, Pastor, do. Huh? Stan, I'm going to pray with you. Sorry, you know, I hope you know, Whatever bad habit is bothering you, when you be around, walk out of your seat. When you, when you are coming, come with your Bible, your bag, your purse. Whatever you came here with, come with it. Whatever you came here with, come with it. I'm going to pray with you. When Jesus comes in, whatever you came here with, the only bar I be a Rafabra. Will you say that? Now can we? She will never be the same. Will you pray this prayer with me? Will you say, Dear God? Say, Dear God. Dear God. Forgive me all my sins. Forgive me all my sins. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. You died for me. You died for me. You rose for me. You rose for me. Come into my life. Come into my life. Make my life a testimony. Make my life a testimony. To those who know me. To those who know me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For answered prayer. For answered prayer. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Put your hand on your chest. Let us pray. Heavenly Father. Thank you for these precious ones. I pray they will know you. And know you better. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Church, will you please stand? And if today is your first day worshiping with us, will you come out of your seat? Come with your Bible, your bag, your purse. Join us in front here. If today is your first day worshiping with us, take your Bible, your bag, your purse. Join us. If today is your first day worshiping with us, today is your first day worshiping with us. Take your Bible, your bag, your purse. Your Bible, bag, no purse. You're welcome, you're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You see this dear lady? Uh -huh. Will you please follow her? We have some trained people that will talk with you. Yes, yes. put your hands together. Yes, put your hands together. For you can do it. Oh, you can do it better than that. Put your hands together for them. You can do it better than that. Give the Lord a mighty clap. Put your hands together for them. Glory to Jesus. Amen. 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 Oh, clap to the last person. Ah, awesome, 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 awesome. I am one one. I am one one. I am one one. Keep clapping. She will never be the same again. Will you please take your seat? Mm -hmm. We want to give our offering. And then I would pray for you for whatever breakthrough you came believing God for. But if you are overseas from overseas watching from overseas you want to give send your offering through send wave or world remit or tap tap send and now tap tap send and the name is Perez Chapel International. Edina Dasuni Perez Chapel International. And the number is plus two three three. Now number in here plus two three three. Two zero. Two zero. Three one six. Three one six. Two zero eight four. Two zero eight four. Plus two three three. Plus two three three. Two zero. Two zero. Three one six. Three one six. Two zero. Two zero. Eight four. Eight four. Or plus two three three. And now plus two three three. Two four three. Two four three. Five zero zero. Five zero zero. Six two four. Six two four. Plus two three three. Plus two three three two four three two four three five zero zero five zero zero six two four six two four or Anna you can also send if you are in Ghana Oh, uh, to star 800 star 1000 hash 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 on our mobile networks our mobile network or you so. can send to our MTN and now which media for your MTN 024 and now 020316 2084 2080316 020316 2084 2080316 2084 or our PayPal account and our PayPal account you know 
And the username is at the Perez Dome. And the email is Perez Dome at PerezChapel.org. And email no your Perez Dome at Perez chapel.org Let's take our offering if you are in the dome. You want to give 200 Ghana cities, 500, 1,000, 2,000. Anything above 200, come and drop it on the altar. If you are above 200, drop it on the altar. If you are above 200, drop it on the altar. 200 Ghana cities and above, drop it on the altar. If you are above 200, drop it on the altar. 100 Ghana cities. Drop it on the altar. 100 Ghana cities. Yes. When Jesus comes in, when Jesus comes in, new life will. You will never be the same. Fifty Ghana cities. City at your new way. You will never be the same. Again, Manana Namo send a lava by a tassel. You will never be the same. Cities, ten cities, five cities. Two cities. Any other amount? I You will never be the same. Oh yes, you will never be the same again. When Jesus comes. When Jesus comes in, new life will begin. Pastor Elvis, if the uh, the QR code for Supernatural Empowerment Summit, it's available. Can you put it on the screen for me? On the side screen for me. When Jesus comes in, new life yeah, will begin. New life will begin. Heavenly Father, we ask that you multiply the seed so in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If the Lord prays. In the next few minutes, I'm going to be praying for any breakthrough, any miracle why you came here. Amen. 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 From the 29th of April to the 3rd of May, we are having the Supernatural Empowerment Summit. Yes, Supernatural Empowerment Amen. Amen. Last year, we had people from 34 countries. And this year, the response we are, the response we are getting is Mushos. Now, a few way. And this year, our theme is how to walk in the power of God. And I, I can't wait to minister to you. Amen. Amen. And there are many seasoned ministers nah. also coming. Nah, all, all you need to do is to scan this QR code to register because you need to register to come in. If you, if you don't know how to do it, when we close, just wait around. Pastor, Pastor Elvis, I hope we will have people who would help us in front here to do that. If you haven't registered, please register. Amen. Amen.
If you believe in God for anything whatsoever, you came here because it's a breakthrough hour. And you are believing God to do strange things for you. Marvelous things for you. To amaze the people and that know you. Please stand and put your hand on your forehead. Believing for strange things. Put your hand on your forehead. Let us Heavenly Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, our resurrected King. I commit your people into your hands. Your word says the anointing breaks the yoke. It completely destroys the yoke. Lord, I ready. Because of the anointing that we've done today. I pray that every yoke in marriages will be broken. The yoke of singleness will be broken. The yoke of failure will be broken. The, the yoke of retrogression will be broken. The yoke of unfruitfulness will be broken. Every yoke of curses be broken in the name of Jesus. Any yoke that limits you will be broken in the name of Jesus. And I pray that by the power of the Holy Ghost, you will intervene for your people. You will change the stories of your people. You will give them glorious testimonies. You will do strange and marvelous things for your people. Lord, you will cause fear yeah. to come in the lives of those who know your people because of the strength things you are doing. Give your people a testimony to your praise and glory. In Jesus' name. Give him a mighty clap. Give him a mighty clap. Tonight, and I I'm continuing my series on the power of God. And tonight, we are coming with a point of contact of whatever you are doing. If you I'm a preacher, so my point of contact is the Bible. Amen. Amen. If you are a lawyer, well, you're a lawyer. You have a point of, you have something that shows that you are a lawyer. Uh, something that shows you are a doctor. Something that shows you are an engineer. Something that shows you are a trader. Tonight, you want to bring a point of contact of that. And we are going to pray over it. And God, our God, will surprise you. Lift up your two hands. Reverend Asabri, can you please share the benediction with us? Give him a microphone quickly. Reverend Peter Asabri. Before some of you came, Reverend Peter Asabri pastors a church in Paris. These are some of the Methuselahs in Paris. The, you know, missionaries did works in Paris. God bless you. Share the benediction with us. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Lift up your right hand. As you live here, you are not living the presence of the Lord. I don't know how you came. But as you go out from here, may strange things accompany you. May marvelous things, may wonderful things, may unprecedented things begin to follow you. Now I speak the oil of the 24-hour miracle upon you. That tomorrow by this time, people who know you will not recognize you. That tomorrow by this time, you will be a new man. You will be a new woman. Go in the power of the Lord. The Lord bless you. Amen. Amen.